Welcome to STEM, brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today we're talking about the science of flight. How does a plane fly? What keeps it up in the air? Every plane is the center of four forces at work. The engines provide lift and thrust, pushing it upward and forward. Gravity is the weight of the plane, and drag is the resistance or friction of air pressure or air currents against the moving plane. Here's a diagram from nasa.gov showing these four forces at work. So let's make some paper airplanes today, which deal with the same four forces as real planes. In your Science of Flight Take and Make, which will be available starting November 13th, you will get two rubber bands, a template for making an airplane, it's two-sided, additional paper to make your own airplanes, and a template of a whirly gig, or I'd like to call it a Mars helicopter. I'll explain why later. At home, you'll need to provide a scissor, something to punch a hole in your airplane, I have a whole bunch, and some tape. All right, well, let's get started with our first project. So using your plain paper in your kit, you can start experimenting with making paper airplanes. Since paper airplanes are subject to the same forces as actual airplanes, think about the force of flight and experiment to see what helps your plane fly straighter, more accurately, or farther. While you make your airplanes, I am going to do the template that's in your take and make, following the numbers one through seven. How did you do with your paper airplanes? Did you add any cut out flaps like this or these kind? Did you get it to improve? These are some planes that I found in some uh, paper airplane library books. And then also again at nasa.gov. And again, I'll give you that link in a bit. Some great paper airplane designs. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make a paper airplane catapult. This is the one I made from the template that's in the Take and Make kit. And all I'm gonna do is put a hole about two inches up from the point here. And maybe you could do this on one of the other airplanes you've made. And then you'll have two rubber bands in your kit, but you just thread it through the hole And loop it inside itself so it's like that and then you're going to loop the rubber band around a finger hold on tight to the back of your airplane and let go Our last activity will be folding this whirligig that is in your Take and Make kit. Now, what's fun about this is on nasa.gov, there is a very similar template. I will show you the link. And this is under an activity called Make a Mars Helicopter. Because according to NASA, their Perseverance Mars Rover which launched this year will carry the first helicopter to the surface of Mars. And this helicopter has to be super lightweight to fly on Mars. There's a great video. I encourage you to go to the link below and check out what the Mars helicopter will accomplish. But for now, we have a whirly gig. And so we are going to first fold it 
these two parts by fold it a little askew like that little across fold the other side same way kind of slanted all right and then this bottom part is got some folding lines to it you just fold it in one side in the other and fold the little part up at the bottom and this is a whirly gig or a Morris helicopter thanks for joining us for science of flight and check out these links for more information